Good afternoon from uh, Valle de las Aguilas. I hope you enjoy your time. I definitely enjoy my time. I'm taking you on a journey to my favorite and the best beach in Dominican Republic. This video is a third part of my trip from Poland to Caribbean under 1000 euro. In my previous video I took you from Bayaibe to Saona Island and my remaining budget is 600 euro. In this video you are going to see how to enjoy living in the nature. I will show you how to unzip the door in the tent, how to play dominoes and how to eat breakfast at the seafront. Today I'm heading to another part of island. It's gonna be a long drive, but this trip is gonna be most important for me because it's gonna show you the most beautiful part of Dominican Republic. For me, as my personal preference, uh, the name of the place is uh, Valle de las Aguilas, Los Pedernales. And to get there from San Domingo, it's around seven hours and we are even more further uh, east right now. So it's gonna take us more than that. Well, I'm prepared for the journey. On the way there, we're gonna stop in many beautiful places. I'm gonna show you uh, places where you can also chill out. You don't have to go. You can spend a nice time. You don't have to go that far. Maybe, uh, a little bit outside Barahona, you can also stay in beautiful places. The name is uh, Los Patos de Barahona. And over there, it's so beautiful because you have mountains, rivers and the beach. We are driving to the west part of the island and we have to drive through the capital. Driving inside the city is a nightmare and crossing it can take anything from one up to two hours. City center of the Santo Domingo, Avenida John F. Kennedy. We just stopped for line rides in the car. Another typical view in Santo Domingo. This is a normal condition of the car. There's completely nothing wrong with that. This is basically how many cars look like here. People don't really care about uh, repairing them, painting them. There is completely no uh, checking, annually checking the car. So if you do have to do a test annual check here, no, you don't have to. Done. Done. Yeah. Santo Domingo is a very specific city. You can see all sort of things on the road. For example, if your air conditioner just stopped working, it's very easy to find somebody on a road who can always fix it for you. If you're tired and thirsty, there are always many people on the side of the road which are selling cheap and tasty coconut water. Okay. We decided to stop for the night just outside Barahona in Hotel El Maquito. If you decide to stop for the night on a journey like mine, this hotel is a perfect place for you. A double room costs 40 euros per night including breakfast and all the rooms are seafront. We are heading back on the road and we still have around 4 hours to go. Soon we will cross Paradise Village, in translation is Paraiso. This road is only one to head to the west and personally I think this road has the best views in the world. I'm really interested to see how is the living in the paradise. So I decide to stop for a minute and visit a small hotel at the seafront. In my channel there is also a full video about this hotel and living in this village. Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Dónde estamos? 
Paraíso Barahona. Ey, paraíso, es verdad, sí. existe. El paraíso. Ajá, el paraíso. El paraíso. Ah, yo sabía eso. The location and the views are just amazing. Imagine you wake up in the morning and the view from your bedroom looks like this. This area is so attractive that shortly we are having another stop by the river. People after work come in here to jump into the fresh and cold water to enjoy music and the local beer. Muchas cosas han pasado, mucho tiempo, por la duda y el rencor Que despertamos al ver que no nos queríamos No, ya no, que no nos queríamos No, ya no, y ahora estás tú sin mí ¿Y qué hago con mi amor? El que era para ti y con toda la ilusión De que un día tú serás solamente para ti ¿Cómo se llama ese río aquí? El río San Rafael. ¿Igual como la playa? De San Rafael, sí, pero es individual. Este es el río San Rafael de la Virgen. Ah, de la Virgen. Sí. still in the middle of nowhere there is a gas station here but not for uh, regular gas only for LPG this is low populated area so make sure you have cash with you because there is no ATMs around also if you have a car on a regular gas make sure you're gonna fill your car in the Barahona area it is evening time and finally we have reached the national park at this time of day, there is no boats are going to the Bahia de las Aguilas. So from tomorrow morning, we are going to hire a boat, which is gonna cost 30 euros for the all day hire. For the rest of the day, I'm gonna learn how to play dominoes and relax on the beach. I just woke up. It's seven o'clock in the morning. This was my house for the night. There's not many options to sleep. In a sleeping in a tent, it's a pretty good experience. This Echo Place offers all tents located just a few steps from the waterfront. I have to say that the views are even better in the morning. The beach is so clean and the water crystal clear. My dream is to have a house on the beach with a peace and quiet living. Some say the dreams are coming true. As you see, most of the furniture here are made simple and from natural materials. Even the bar is eco-friendly. There is a few places here to sit down and relax, and this is what I'm going to do now. Time for breakfast. We are not in a resort or anything like this. So, it's gonna be a very simple breakfast, a Dominican type. This is a Caribbean classic mango with a couple of slices of fried salami, eggs and bread. I'm going to enjoy my breakfast with a sea view and you enjoy the views from the bird's eye. Bon
Playa de las Aguilas. This is my favorite beach and it's ticking all the boxes for me. Crystal clear water, far away from everywhere and if there are turtles here it's a confirmation that it's 100% nature. Today is our lucky day because we've met some people and they sharing the food with us. Good afternoon from uh, Bahia de las Aguilas. I hope you enjoy your time, I definitely enjoy my time. I'm going to introduce you how to eat a fish in Bahia de las Aguilas. Those are green bananas. They're really nice. Fried bananas. Don't worry about which fork you need to use. Don't worry about anything. Enjoy the time. When you finish your food, you don't need to use a napkin. You just basically put in your hands into the water, clean with a little bit of sand. That's it, the job is done. If you have a barbecue, you know how to make fish. You can come here, make a barbecue. Gineri, would you like to try some? Yeah, I'm a little. Mm -hmm. You like it? I like this one more than the other. I like to eat in the nature. Mm, delicious. You know what's the best part? We are here alone. Almost, Almost alone. This is like uh, better than VIP. Our time in Bahia de las Aguilas is almost over. Let me know in the comment section below what is your opinion about this beautiful place. The day is gone. Leaving uh, the best beach in Dominican Republic. More beautiful. Did you like the journey? I love it. It's the more beautiful beach that I ever visited in my life. There you go. If Gineri says so, it must be like that. Would you come back here? Of course, yes. <laughs> I want to live here. <laughs> oh, I want to live here too. And, and a barbecue. Barbecue every day? Yeah, fish and barbecue. Fish every day. You know how to fish? Say lobster, shrimps, everything. Everything, everything. Langosta every day. You can come here in the car. There is no need to come in the boat. You need a 4x4 four four and the, the way to come here is all the way all the way here. Another place where it's a breathtaking place again.
the real life. You need to wash your clothes. You need to have a bath. That's the place to do it. Completely on the nature. This, this water comes from the river, so you can drink it too. Muy frío. How do people enjoy the living here? You see, kids are enjoying the living. They have a boat, the guy is working as, a, as the engine. Pure nature, pure nature, nothing else to say. This is the end of the third part of my vacation in the Caribbean. I'm still left with 509 euros in my budget and in my next episode you are going to see where the rich people are living and the poor do not have access to. Traveling all over this world